Moin. Okay. So, executive decision today, okay? This is the last Persona stream that I'm doing. The rest of the series will be recorded and uploaded at a later date. Decide later. The rest of the series will be recorded at a later date. We've had so many disconnects. We've had so much missed content. It's been absolutely terrible to stream it as a qual as quality as I can because, you know, my fucking Wi-Fi out here is so bad. It's so abysmally bad. And I hate to get mad, okay? But I think I'm well within my fucking rights, okay? It's a pay I'm a paying customer, okay? Right? I used to have such good Wi-Fi. And then I go from that to, like, absolute dog shit. It's like when you're fucking, you know, you have a really good like franchise right and then the quality just just goes down immediately because it's like a fucking cash grab like fucking berserk 2016 with like that awful cgi yeah it's about it's about like that it's it's like that you know you got fucking mm, like fucking crisp fast download speed right and then you go from that to absolute dog shit so on that note we are going to not hang out with Yusuke. That is stupid and dumb. Fuck Yusuke. Fuck everyone else. We are going to fucking hang out with Maruki. And I swear to God, if this disconnects one more time today, I'm not streaming. I'm just going to go record what I wanted to do today, and then that'll be it. That'll be it. You get one more chance. One more chance. That's all I'm willing to give. What's up, Maruki? Hey, good work today. It's already yes, autumn. So, yeah, I wanted to talk with you. Do you have the time? I feel like my bomb with Maruki will grow strong soon. Thanks. Let's help him out. Thank you, Noriaki. Oh, since you, we have the time, I was hoping we could talk at the cafe you're staying at. I'm a big fan of their coffee. I'll get dressed so we can get going. Okay. I believe this is rank Sorry. six. Sorry for coming over out of the blue. Hang on one second. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Where's that? Rank six. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we got curry too. That's what I said last time. I'd love to try some, but I think I'd better restrain myself for now. You see. Uh, it's about the research we've been discussing. I've actually been putting it together in a paper. It's really... It's been really progressing lately, thanks in no small part to you, but... I feel like I've hit another wall. Sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate it if you could help me talk through this again. Hmm... I can do that. Thank you. Really? Thank you. You're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that that was the point of my research, right? It's thanks to that that my project has come this far. <sighs> but because of all that progress, I've realized a problem. One that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psy psychological wounds, with the way things are now... I can only save people directly within my reach. Uh, isn't that enough? True, I guess. It's better than not being able to save anyone, but I can't just be satisfied with that. I mean, there are many, so many people out there suffering so badly. They can't even speak up and let their pain out. This is a painful, cruel, bitter world. There's only so much that one individual can do to fight against that. I've said it before, working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, I... Deep down, I... I don't think it's enough. And I can't... And I can just help the people around me. A few people out of billions. I wanted to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In turn... We have infinite methods by which way to treat it. 
And like I said earlier, there are people who need help, desperately, but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's ultimately what I realized. So give up. Yeah, that'd probably be easier. Unfortunately, I've never been great at giving up when I should. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and remove the, the root of their pain, it seems like something out of a dream. Ah, uh, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think that it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. Everyone's cognition. More importantly, what is this mementos? And it's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Think of it as a collective unconscious. No, oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. Hmm? Moriaki, did I say something wrong? All hearts share some things. Huh? But... Yeah, there are some common factors. No, wait. Oh, you're right. My god, you're right. That's it, Noriaki-kun. The collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected to in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Ah, oh, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize this before? <laughs> yes, right. And if I combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it back to cognitive science, too. Uh, God, calm down. Uh, sorry, but I think you just helped me make a major breakthrough. I think this means something big for my cognitive science research. I need to hurry and get this in my paper. I knew this would be worth bringing to you. Thank you, Noriaki-kun. I swear I'll repay you for this. And sends a powerful gratitude from Mar Maruki. Counselor rank 6. Fuck yes. All right. All right then. Well, I need to get going. See you. Oh, Noriaki-kun. Sorry for rushing out so suddenly. Earlier, huh. what's going on? I chose heavy breathing pervert and it didn't give anything, so I, I'm gonna try this one. Sorry, I ended up running to the station on sheer adrenaline. Didn't realize I was this out of shape, though. Anyhow, you helped me come to realize a, a major realization. The answer was right in front of me and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is to focus on my paper. After your help, I'm gonna finish it for your sake, too. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Okay, bye. Oh, PP time. Inmate. Inmate, uh, special reassignment. Yeah. I put my phone in my pocket, and then as soon as I do, I get a fucking text. Father's been acting a little odd lately. He's been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. That's actually quite similar to what happened with Madarame. And Madarame still had to change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about a, such a sudden shift. It'll be okay, Haru. Right. Um, I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. Hell yeah. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Hell yeah. And check this out. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time. We didn't get too far in though. Oh, so it's not completely bad that we're restarting, but I'm just so fucking pissed at the Wi-Fi. It's just, it's abysmal. So we're gonna do some laundry with okay. Kawakami. And boom. Add another. Boom. Add another. Boom. Add another. Yeah, boom. Run the wash as is. Call Kawakami. Thanks for calling. Wait, laundry? Ah, you son of a bitch. Give me my 5,000 yen. Okay, yes, goddess. Okay, and then what I did was I went to Kichijoji. Did this. And we went this way to the clothing store. So, what can I do you for? 
Want to sell. Sell it all. Boom. And then, anything else? Let me see the prizes. I then bought a clothing grab bag. And then, opened it up. Got some good stuff. Anything else? Nothing else. Betsuni Nandemonayo. Uh, where is a mailbox at? Somebody told me that you can mail letters to people. Somebody told me that in Discord. Let me see, because I have a postcard. Hmm. Old retained items. Let's see. Items. That. Tools and materials. Where's, like, gifts at? Ah, oh, there we go. Ham drive, stamp card, DVD player, sea slug, Jack Frost doll, aquarium day, watercolored postcard for the art enthusiast. Uh, is there a way to mail postcards? Oh no, I didn't want to go in here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Somebody told me that you can mail postcards. Welcome, plenty of items. Like? For the gentleman. I'd buy it for Maruki in case he uh, is feeling a bit down. I guess I don't know. I'm just low on energy because I'm getting. I'm. I'm really getting tired of trying to stream. And then have my stream get interrupted by just complete bullshit. Alright, let's play darts. What do you wanna do? And then let's call someone. And then we were gonna try to get Haru oh, thank you. to uh, max rank. But we failed in that. And I'm going to try at it again. I guess there are some good things coming out of this. Forward. She's gonna be like, oh yeah. Leave it to you. You're up first. Cool. I know you can do it. Nope. Okay. There we go. Wow, you're very good. There we go. Superb. Nice. Low ton. Cool. 183. All right then. Here I go. I'll do my best. My turn now. And let's see how she does this time around. She really sucked last time. Man, she still sucks. It's the third round. Give it your all. Cool. I'm gonna hit hit it like this. One fifty. Superb. Hooray! You did it. And then put one there. There we go. Perfect. Switch it over. Um, Last turn. I think I can do this. My turn now. this is... Look at her score. We can finish. How should I throw? Like you're swinging an axe. Wait. Uh, does that have anything to do with darts? Oh, well that's gonna fuck us up. Whoops. Oh shit, she did it! Nice! Oh look, zero points! Wow, I feel so accomplished! We're the greatest pair ever! Maybe. No, we're not. Kasumi is. Nice! Maxed her out. Could I go next? How are things with Makoto? She's ranked three. I have a favor to ask. Uh, I'm calling it a day. Okay. All right then, that's a little disappointing. We'll play some other time. I'll be running the simulations in my head until then. Sorry, Makoto, but you're already max. Hmm. I'm sorry. You are already max rank. That was, that was so fun. fun. That nice. Do it for now. And we haven't formed a company not rank with oh, Haru yet, but we maxed out her dart skills, so that means she'll be better at baton passing. Hi. And then we get our fucking laundry, which is very nice.
and then light reading. Cool. Aquarium. We already know right. about that. Magazine showcase dating spots. Oh, planetarium. Haven't been there yet. Leave the noise of the city behind. Find what's carving in the sky. Wow. Aiki Volcaro is mostly known for its skyscrapers. Never realized they had a planetarium there. Guess they keep it exciting by doing things like hire famous actors as tour guides. In any case, it's not the kind of place you'd visit alone. I'd recommend taking someone. Cool. Finish that. Oh. So you finish reading Night Skies. Planetarium Aiki no Borkoro is probably the closest one here, so that's probably convenient. Kaboom! Enjoy the stars. All right. We sure will. It'd be fun to go with someone. Just don't fall asleep while they project the constellations, okay? We're almost at the station. I'd say this was an efficient use of your time. Streaming isn't an efficient use of my time. I just I'm gonna probably start recording these. Autumn is for eating, autumn is for art, autumn is for reading, stones, stores will use whatever reasons they can to pull customers this season in particular. Oh yes, people also say autumn is the time for sports. A while back, basketball was the national sport, but these days people have been into soccer. Now then, Noriaki-kun, could you take a look at this picture? Do you know this one? How many white and black shapes are there represented on the soccer ball? 20, 20 white, 12 black. Precisely. That is correct. The ball is composed of 12 black pentagons and 20 white hexagons. Makes up a total of 32 surfaces. Boom. By the way, apparently soccer balls used to be only one color. They changed it to black and white so it could be seen better on television. Or so I hear anyways. Television was still black and white when they started airing soccer ball in Europe. At any rate, the contrast of white and black next to each other. It's a sleek design, don't you think? Wow, really? Noriaki kun seems kind of smart. Must be really smart to answer an obscure question like that. Well, there's that. In recent design that caught my interest is the Moon Burger, which uses an egg to represent the moon. I'm well aware of the bad rumors that sounding of Kumara Foods, but what can you argue with hunger? Mm. Think someone really like her eats hamburgers? No. No one eats hamburgers. I'm the only one who eats hamburger. And Maruki's gonna text me. Perfect. He is the only one I need. It will grow strong soon. Hell yeah. Thank you. Looking forward to it. See you at the nurse's office. Nice, boys. Well, well let's get started for today's topic. Let's see. Hmm, I'd like to hear your opinion of these Phantom Thieves of Heart. Hmm? The ones who steal desires of criminals and repeatedly force them to confess. Hmm, sweet. Maybe it's a little hard to believe, but I've taken an academic interest in them. Are you a fan? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I'd love to sit down and talk with one of them. Well, lucky you, Maruki. I just get the feeling the Phantom Thieves' work and my own research are rooted in the same principles. <laughs> I'm just sweating nervously in the chair right now. That's why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspective. For example, there's a the matter of their methods. According to those calling cards they send out, their stated method is to steal your desires. How is such a feat even possible? Any ideas, Noriaki-kun? As in... removing them? Mm. Mm, removing them? As if there's something material rather than abstract. So they're basically stealing desires by taking some tangible form of them. Well, in that case, I suppose it's possible that if you could find some psych... Sight, uh, physical proxy for human desires. There we go. Say, Noriaki-kun, do you remember the story with the cookies? In that experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people taste them. I think we can look at this in the same way. There's, they're not something easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. Put another way. If that designer is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookies skews back to normal. So, does that remind you of anything? The change of heart? Right. That's right. The Phantom Thieves own change of heart. That's the basics of my theory. Their theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. 
We still don't know exactly how they steal these desires, of course. But if this idea of physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it'd logically follow that they can be taken away. In a world of intangibles, let's say, a world composed of contents of people's hearts, well, they're thieves, so <laughs> they could perceive a world like that. They would steal desires like any other treasure. Hey, Noriaki-kun, what do you think I'm getting any- Do you think I'm getting anywhere here? It's intriguing. You think so too, Noriaki-kun? It's if- it, If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it'd be incredible. <laughs> That'd be wild. <laughs> That'd be wild. <clears throat> That'd be wild. Uh, sorry, it's hot in here. Then again, we'd probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the Phantom Thieves themselves. <laughs> <laughs> if only he knew. <laughs> mm, I think I can construct a solid hypothesis now. It feels like I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank you. Thank you, Noriaki-kun. And since Maruki's heartfelt gratitude towards me. Kaboom! Flow boost. Raises the chance of flow succeeding. All right. Your counselor confidant rank is increased to rank 7. Hell yes, boys! Now, about today's mental training technique. How about something like this? Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Max XP increased by 5. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Thank you. Phantom well, wafers. See you. Hope we can chat again sometime. Dude, I hope he's, like, gonna fucking rank up. Oh my god, that'd be fucking sick. We're doing better than last time. Last time, Maruki would rank up the next day, so we're more efficient. Father was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is this normally what happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay, don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried, but let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry, it'll be just like it always is. Cool. Also, and then on this day, I'm gonna get rid of all the the color, color text messages. See those? And there he is. Hey, good evening. I'm in Kichi Joji right now. If you've got time, why don't you stop by for a bit? What's the plan? You gonna go see Akechi? Go at once. I'll be right there. I had a feeling you'd come. Thanks. I'll be waiting. Nice. What's up, man? Hi. Hi, Noriaki-kun. Good evening. Hey. I have some time before the shoot. If you're not busy, do you want to hang out? I feel like you become closer to Akechi thanks to the Justice Persona Angel. I don't think my bond with Akechi will deepen just yet. What do you want What's the plan? You gonna hang out with Akechi? Let's check the bond with him. I think he's fucking done in that regard. Uh, what do you what's the plan? Do? You gonna hang with Akechi? Hang out with him. Thank you. Good, then let's get going. Akechi looks like he's enjoying himself. It seems he's made a discovery through our discussion. I feel like my bond with Akechi will grow strong soon. Nice. Goodbye. Well, see you. Goodbye, Akechi. You pee pee man, you. Ugh, who's texting me? <sighs> How could it be at this hour? You have tomorrow off, right? I'm gonna be at standby on the hideout, so we gotta play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the ropes so you can use it to let out your stress. Oh, but if you're busy, then do that first, and I'll wait. It's a retro game called Power Intru In Intrusion. Look forward to it. Time to make like a tree! <sighs> We should get some sleep if Futaba's gonna be here during the day tomorrow. Well, let's see if Maruki's available. And then if he's not, you have our attention, Futaba. Ah, what's up, people? You gonna say the same things? Who needs the police when we have Phantom Thieves? So true, it's so much for being a great detective. Uh, fuck a catchy is what everybody's saying right now. Cool. Nice. Hey. hey, Drew. Futaba's down here in the shop. Sounds like Futaba's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Well, that reminds me, home shopping program's airing today. You wanna check out the TV? Shibuya people watching, that's boring. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry, EY. They take priority. Kemi, Yusuke, Makoto. Uh, is Kasumi up? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we can hang out with Yusuke today. And we can also hang out with Takemi. I'm gonna flip a coin. Heads, we hang out with Futaba. Tails, we hang out with the Confidant. It is Tails, so I think that's the Confidant. Uh, heads is Yusuke, Tails is uh, Takemi. Wait, did I say Heads is Yusuke? I think I said Heads is Yusuke. Let's hang out with Yusuke then. Hang on, let's walk to him. Uh, but I want to hang out with Futaba. She's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to hang out with her, though? Yo. I'm gonna hang around here today, so I've played a pretty ancient game. The courage to test me. Improve my guts. Furthermore, this may be a good chance to deepen hey, my bond hey. with her. <laughs> Someone sent me a meme that said, Hard book of facts. Mishima. Uh, Persona fans don't like Mishima because they're not willing to accept the fact that he's the most relatable character in this game. <laughs> they're right. Except they're not. I relate to Joker, okay? I've been expelled multiple times. Just kidding. Uh, fuck, dude. I can raise my guts. Aww, oh, okay. What? Hang on, Futaba. Let me take a shit really quick and figure out if my stats are going to improve. Say so you do think better on the toilet. <laughs> Should reflect a bit. Somewhat close to knowledge, somewhat close to charm, definitely close to proficiency, somewhat close to improving guts, somewhat close to kindness. Yeah, proficiency's next on the chopping block. Uh, let's go on ahead and hang out with Yusuke, if that's the case. Man, I wish I could Twitch stream, like, consistently. Because I love this. I, I love Twitch streaming. It's it's a it's a whole new experience. You just sit back and you're just yourself. Right? You just no no editing, no nothing. Just chilling, you know, just just chilling. Also, uh, if you're wondering why we started in the school uh, earlier, I accidentally fucked up uh, trying to restart the stream and I accidentally saved over a save, but we didn't miss anything important. The only thing that I did was do a point to kindness, and uh, the teacher, uh, Kawakami, gave me some free time. And I made use of that by reading a book, I think? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, what we have to do now is wait. What a nerve-wracking time. I'm observing the public. Came to see you. <laughs> so I have a wealth of free time, to be honest. I think I found a way of putting myself out of my slump. I feel like my bomb Go strong with Yusuke. Let us be off. Believe I will find what we're looking for at the church. Oh, this one. That's confidant rank. This one's funny. Hmm. Our prior theme, love, it proved to be quite useful for me indeed. After our enlightening session, I am once again... I once again attempted to paint. However, nothing I put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. Before the gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Ah, yes, lost sheep. I have come here with you for precisely that reason. Indeed. Our theme today shall be anguish. I shall paint the anguish of the anguish Christ felt as he bore the sins of mankind. Hmm. Hmm, I've seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? It seems not. Well, then. Very well, Drew. You will have to be my model today. Make me beautiful. I can only represent the reality of my base subject. Anything more would be asking too much. He called me ugly. Now then. Now then, let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. And I'm picturing right now, because this is all flashback, right? That Sai Nijima is fucking cringing her ass off right now as I go into lengthy detail about how I Jesus posed. Mm, I see. So this would be... Well, perhaps... It seems this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, and yet you remain calm and composed. 
Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise even for this sketch. No. Now, raise your hands higher. More, give me more anguish. Bring to its upper limits. Like this. This position. So this is the passion of Christ. Forsaken by his disciples. And horn at a criminal by the public. Pierced with nails and hung on the cross. I understand now. <laughs> this is the true anguish of the passion. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. What are you children doing? Ah, uh, well, this is an art study. Art? That? I am attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. So you're interested in the anguish of the crucifixion? Hmm. While it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep suffering, it also bears a much more positive message, one of resurrection, of forgiveness. Oh. Resurrection? Forgiveness? I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of anguish. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying now. But try to consider that the anguish of one may feel today will, bring, will someday bring forth new hope. Ah, oh, and by the way, I suggest that you contain your excitement while here. You may trouble the Congression. So those shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness and not pain? Hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. Drew, do you think someday I'll be able to capture the truth someday? I'm sure you will. You got this. Indeed, if I do not have belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exceedingly strange, though. Spending time with you has helped me to discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror. I'm source. in your debt. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know I wish to repay your kindness. I feel my bond with Yusuke growing deeper. Kaboom! Card creation allows Yusuke to create any skill card he has copied once before. All right. Hmm. Let us return home for today. I bid you farewell. Farewell! He just starts, like, rapidly spinning. Yes! Wonderful! Jesus posed with Yusuke! That always puts a smile on my face. Ah, oh, what's up, man? Apologies for this call. Could I talk to you about something? The crucifixion supposedly symbolizes resurrection, forgiveness, and hope, but I could not grasp those connections. Once again, I made the same mistake of picking upon, up on only the superficial meaning. The more I think about it, the further I seem to be from understanding the abyss of the heart. You have to keep drawing. Yes, of course. I'm going about the, this the wrong way, if all I do is sit and stew on my discontent. But perhaps it is time for me to switch up my way of thinking. I still have a tough road ahead, but talking to you gave me some relief. I am truly fortunate to have you by my side. I will see you later. Okay, bye, Yusuke. Hey, Akechi, you want to come over to the cafe tonight? I am back. What's up, PP? That creep hasn't tried anything funny, right, Haru? No, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, Anshan. Father did say he rescinded the marriage offer as well. I'm a bit worried, though. There's still some time before the deadline. If anything happens, be sure to let us know. Thanks, Mako-chan. I will gladly rely on all of you. There's also the matter of mental shutdowns. I hope no danger comes to Haru. I guess Haru's dad did say that he was just making requests. Yes. The true culprit is still out there, triggering mental shutdowns in exchange for money. We gotta catch whoever that is. Any idea who the culprit might be? The black masked person. Yes, they're definitely the most likely the perpetrator. Either way, I'm sure we'll learn more once Haru's father speaks about it. We just gotta wait for his change of heart. Utaba's right. We don't have any intel now, so there's nothing we can do. Let's wait for Okumura's change of heart. 
Then pursue the truth behind the mental shutdowns. Hell yeah. I just put my phone in my pocket. There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okumura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've had recently. Uh-oh. There we go. So it's because of us. Damn, I'm so glad we're famous. But it's highly probable they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're going to also be in trouble if we let the public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal of more in instigating comments lately. And we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be ex upsetting. We should keep that in mind. That reminds me, home shopping program's airing today. You want to check out the TV? Oh, shit. Evening, it's Lala from Crossroads. Can you take a shift today? All my regulars just whooshed in like a big drunken tornado. And obviously, you get paid a little extra. I'm not that bad of a boss. Anyhow, let me know. Ciao. Drunken tornado sounds pretty bad, but it'll be worth some time. You want to head to Shinjuku? What's up, TV? Hello, everybody. It's time to do some home shopping. Here's what we have for you today. First, we have the Phantom Thief set 2. Ooh, three calming aromas, five smoke screens, and five lockpicks. All these items in one set. But wait, there's more. Next, we have the Thief Fun set. If you're a fan, you're sure to have fun. Five phantom wafers, three calling postcards. Both items in one set. What a steal! Wow, they're such great items. I can't decide which one to get. All right, this is a limited item. Today is the one and only day it'll be available. And of course, the price is just right. You won't see this kind of deal ever again. The phones are already ringing off the hook. Only a few remaining. Now's your final chance to buy, buy, buy. Apparently, phones are ringing nonstop. Ah, uh, thief fun set. Oh, another buyer's just called in. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, they both sold out. That last customer was extraordinarily lucky. We'll try to get your order to you as quickly as possible. Goodbye for now. We will see you again next time with another fabulous product. Goodbye for now. All we have to do now is wait for it to arrive. Can you mail shit? And what is the point of the postcards? Hang on. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Wrong tab. Wrong tab. Hang on. I'm gonna look this up really quick. Uh, can you mail postcards in Persona Five Royal? Royal. You can send postcards to a confident by dropping them at post boxes near Yonganjaya Theater in front of the supermarket. I was looking in the wrong place. <gasps> that means I can fucking mail him to Akechi and make him... <gasps> Dude! Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's the postcard thing at? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Post box. What? I have... Okay. I have a postcard, though. Okay, so who's up? EY's up. Akechi is not up. Okay. Uh, path forward is clear. We're helping out EY. Airsoft shop. Untouchables, boys. We get to hear the theme. What's up? Everyone has a secret they don't want anyone to know. Barely use a PC, because I'd be in trouble if it got hacked. So, what do you want today? Want to shop? Yo. Yo. Okay. You should be grateful. Turning up my TV a little bit. Sell that. Sell that. Grateful. And sweet. Do we have any right. new weapons? Ah, uh, we got Max. Cool. Uh, come again. Don't forget to do some maintenance on the guns. What's up? You still need something? Wanna work as well? There's a job I need you to do. Don't worry, it ain't that difficult, and I'm sure you can handle it. I feel like my bum VY will grow strong soon. What are you gonna do? Hang out with him. I was gonna meet with a guy at the diner after this, so I need you to sit close by. When I give you the signal, call me. The signal is when I cough. Let's Got go. it? Come on, let's head over there. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Nice. A diner, huh? I only thought old farts come to places like this. You really changed, Moon san <laughs> Hey, don't knock this place. It's pretty decent. And it's cheap, too. Ha! 
This is coming from the guy who beat the crap out of 50 rival gang members. You don't need to exaggerate. Anyways, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. Oh, right. How's Suda-san doing? Same as always. Why? What's up with that? Oh, nothing. Just saw him around the other day. Hold up. Didn't you two cut ties when you left the family? Why are you asking about him now? I mean, we're both young. I just figured I... it's time we bury the hatchet. Can't just go up and talk to him, though. Oh, I get ya. You're still trying to uphold the old code of honor, huh? Okay, I'll tell him you want to meet up. Don't say stupid No, you like fool. That. I just want to end up in the same place at the same time. It's got to look like a coincidence, got it? In that case, Shibuya might work. You know, we're talking about redeveloping it. Shibura. <coughs> yeah, I should call him. Huh? You sick or something? Nah, just a cold. Hello? Yeah, how's it going? What? Order's all wrong. My bad. I'll get back and take care of that straight away. Sorry. Sorry. I gotta run. Work shit. Let's talk about this some other time, yeah? Mmm. See ya! Hey. Don't hang up. Masa's still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Suda-san, it's Masa. EY was just asking about you. I did just like you told me, though. The hell are you looking at? Uh, I was daydreaming. Sorry. Ah, it's nothing. Just some weird kid staring at me. Anyways, EY probably heard about the deal of yours, and now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Oh, sorry. No, it's... Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, I understand. Hmm, a deal. Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. What should I do now? You're all good for today. I'll have to thank you in person later. At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. But it looks like you're probably gonna be use some use to me. I'm counting on you, kid. I feel like my bond with EY is growing deeper. Kaboom! Hanged rank two. All right. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, and uh, bring me the receipt so I can pay it back for it. Well, later. I feel like helping EY with his work is honed my proficiency. And guess what, boys? Max proficiency! Transcendent. All right. Nice. Our stats are gonna get maxed before end of the game? Holy shit, I'm doing pretty good for myself. This just made my whole day. This just made everything so much better. Noriaki-senpai, thank you so much. Uh, what's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. I got out of the meet I was talking to you about, and my routine was the best I've ever given so far. So, I just wanted to thank you for that. I didn't do anything. You're the reason I've come so far, senpai. You've helped me so much, even with the mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. Please, I want to thank you again. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. Now I better get going. Have a good night. She's so fucking precious. Why would anyone want to hurt her? Hmm, this looks interesting. Makoto, you scared me. Palace is gone for a while, so I guess we're waiting a while. What do you guys do at times like these? Eh. Study. For me, anyways. Are you saying that it's important to play the part of a diligent student, too? I'm impressed. I wish Ryuji would take a cue from you. Mm-hmm. Anyways, you want to walk to school together, Makoto? You know, just at, at, at a reasonable distance, such that, you know, we're not associated together, you know, like fan of thieves. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got time today, Maruki. Oh man, my mind is gonna be so fucking strong, dude. I'm like, oh man, my like brain is on like some big brain shit, dude. Come here, boy. And you know what the best part about swapping over to recording videos is that I can record whenever the fuck I want. So long as I continue like the same energy as I do with them streaming. And I think I might start releasing them. Uh, I'll put a poll in my next upload asking people about it. What's up, Maruki? Hey, good work today. It's already got him. I expect it to be a little less hot, huh? Do you have time right now? Can I talk to you about this theory I came up with? I feel like I've become closer to Maruki! I feel like my bond with Maruki will grow strong soon. Wait, is that what it said? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I 
let me let me let me see that. Okay, it will. Yes, I'm gonna help him out. Ha! Ah, I'm glad. To, I'm so glad to hear that. Come on, take a seat. Tell me the details. I'll tell you the details. I think is what he said. Is that what he said? Tell me the details. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for coming today. So, today I'd like to start off with our usual topic. Uh, this is for rank eight. Yes, it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get it pretty good. Pretty good. I got my notes right, so that way, because I was like Maruki, like he's fucking in big text on a word document that says "hang the fuck out with him." That's my notes for today's video. Not that I had you go in there, didn't I? Wait, thanks for coming today. So I'd like to start with our usual topic. Not I had you go in there for a minute. Nariaki kun you're in for a real treat today. I know it's been a while since you had one too. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Good question. So recently, I found this delicious looking buffet. It's apparently very well arranged and has all sorts of cuisines. Well, thanks to your input, I'm making some real progress on my paper. I'd like to take you to that buffet as my way of thanking you. How does that sound? Oh, really? Of course. Honestly, I feel like this won't even cover what I owe you. After all, you've done for me. Well, that settles it then. Okay. We should head over there now, before they get too busy. Dude, I'm fucking- I love Maruki. He's so cool. Bro. He's a- he's a fucking bro. No. Alright. Now this is all on me today. No holding back. Eat as much as you want, please. Eat a talk, boss. Mmm, dig in. Although maybe I went a bit overboard for my first trip. Ha! <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Would you mind if I asked you something uh, before we eat? It's about my paper. Uh -huh. Um. Shibushua? I think that's his, his name. Huh? Maruki? Wait, why is he. Hang on. They look similar. They got like the similar scruff. <laughs> I knew it! Sibusawa in the flesh. What are you doing here? That's my line. It's rare to see you in a restaurant like this one. Oh, and who might this be? Oh, he's um, how do I put it? Uh, we made a deal. A deal? Not over anything shady, is it? Ah, no, not at all. Anyway, this is Noriaki Kun. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Shibusawa. I think that's how you say his name. Shibu Sawa. Yeah, I think that's how you say his name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. Uh, I really hate it when I butcher people's names because my mom's name gets butchered a lot. Uh, and growing up with that, I was like, oh, that's like really disrespectful. So I apologize uh, again for all the mispronunciations that I have uh, inflicted upon your ears. What's up, man? Subusiwa was one of my colleagues back in college. He was the one who recommended pursue I pursue a counseling career. And I hear it's been doing you good, some good too. Catch wind of your going-ons ever so often. Honestly, it's a big relief. You have so much more compassion than most, but you can also be a bit too carefree. <laughs> you didn't have to mention that part. Not that I can refute it. Wait, what does this guy's voice sound like? <clears throat> I'm getting this kind of vibe from him. But anyways, tell me more about how you've been. Fill me in on this guy too. Oh! Uh, but aren't you here with others? What about them? That's uh, fine. We happen to swing by here. They they won't mind me being away for a little bit. And do you two... I think you two are really going to be able to tackle all that... And do you think that you two are really going to be able to tackle all that food on your own? That's... Oh, wait! Oh, oh, right. So you're a student at Shujin Academy, Noriaki-kun. They've been on the news an awful lot this year. And... That's where you're counseling now? Yeah, but only part-time. So, what are you two doing out at a place like this? Isn't this some kind of... Is this some... This isn't some kind of private counseling session, right? He's... Well, he's been giving me a hand with my research. I just brought him here as a thank you for all his help. Research? I had meant to mention this earlier, but my paper's almost finished. Way to go! Thank you. Mm, it's all thanks to you, though. Paper? The one you were doing research for? You mean you're still... 
Yep, still at it. Even after all, uh, even after all of what went down. You remember what I told you, that I'd finish this paper no matter how long it took me. Maruki. Haha, <laughs> you blow my mind sometimes, I swear. You gotta be the most stubborn man in the world. Hmm, is that supposed to be a compliment? Anyway, it's not 100% complete yet. I haven't been, uh, even begun the peer review process. Oh, seriously? I'd be more than happy to review it for you. I mean, I did perform all that peer reviews for your publications in college. Huh? Really? Of course, man. Why not? In fact, that it's... That's it. That's... Uh, hang on. Of course, man. Why not? In fact, that's it. This is now officially a celebration. The meal's on me today. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm supposed to be treating Noriaki-kun today. Oh, don't worry so much. Don't you want to congratulate him too, Noriaki-kun? Um, boop, boop, boop. Uh, I sure do. See, he set up for it too. I, I do appreciate it, but I have to say I have mixed feelings about this. Ah, oh, don't sweat the details. Come on, let's go for a second round. We gotta hit up the meat section and the vegetables and the beans. Mm, beans. That was great. Ooh, what a feast. I think I've hit my calori caloric intake for the entire week. Yeah, man. I'm gonna get an earful from the piling on the pounds. Hmm? By who? My girlfriend. Well, my fiance, to be more exact. We're getting married soon. Ah, I see. Hmm? Wait, married? Yep, married. Now you're the only one left school who's flying solo. Sorry to pry, but feel like I need to ask, are you still... Actually, forget I said anything. You're going to ask about Ryum, right? Don't worry, it's fine. I should leave you two to talk. It's okay, there's no need. Ryum was my girlfriend back when I was still a student. Well, uh... well I was just too spineless at the time and broke up in the end. I see. Hold on. It's not like a tragedy or anything, though. She's totally happy now. It's just that I don't feel ready to enter another relationship of that sort right now. Yeah, well, this was supposed to be a celebration, yet I thoroughly killed the mood. Sumimasen. No, no, it's my bad for bringing it up in the first place. Why don't we wrap things up here? I have to say, it was really good to see you doing well, with your paper almost finished, too. Hey, Noriaki-kun, keep an eye on this guy for me, all right? I mean, it's pretty rare to see him op open up to someone like he has with you. Talking about me like I'm some sullen kid. But I do need to express my appreciation properly. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping someone like me make their dream come true, Noriaki. And sense Maruki's intense trust in me. Boom, rank A. All right. Got him. Well, should we get going? Don't forget to send me that paper, okay? I'm seriously going to review it for you. Ha, don't wor I won't. I'll be in touch soon. I think I got a text okay. from somebody. Um, thanks for spending some time with me. Make sure you're careful on the way home. Sure will. Somebody texted me, so I think I gotta call it a stream after this. And then I'll probably record more. Hey, it's me. I was supposed to treat you to out today, huh? Sorry, things didn't go as planned. Shibushiwa was always been diff quick to offer me his help. Well, maybe it's because he knows I'm a little careless, though. He's a good friend. That's true. He's actually helped me out a lot. Running into Shibushiwa was quite a coincidence, but a very lucky one. He was the he was the best in the department when it came to peer reviews. Maybe you, you're bringing me good luck with him too, or maybe I'm doing too much magical thinking. Well. See you later. Okay, bye, Maruki. Swag money. Ah, you're back. Yo. Another box came for you. Hey. What'd you get? Phantom wafers. Calling postcard. Oh. Must be what you ordered off the TV. Let's do it. I'm gonna save the game. And I think I'm gonna call it a stream. I think this will be the last stream, unless somebody voices otherwise. So. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my goodness, I burped. I hope you enjoyed. 
I humbly apologize for all of the fuck-ups on my end. I think it might be best for the overall quality of the series, and also for my mental health, of me not raging if I just record this game and then upload the sessions. They'll still be the same length, but I don't know. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. Or thanks for watching. I don't know how to end this one. This is really awkward. <laughs> but yeah.